What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made the Thunderdome stage, which was my last video. So, yeah, it's pretty complicating, and if anyone else wants to do what I did, this is a great video to watch. So I saved it right here, Thunderdome. Let me just load it. All right. So part of the sides aren't painted, but you can't see that on the inside, so it doesn't really matter. So for step one, you're just gonna want to build like a huge cube, like a building, basically. And then, yeah. So here's the finished product. So yeah, first you just want to build a huge cube, build the stage, like, yeah, build like the higher up platform than what this already is. Build a DJ booth. You're gonna want to count. So how I do this, anytime I build any stages, I've built, all right, I've built, this is not my first stage. This is just the first stage I've showed anyone. I have my very first stage somewhere, my very first stage right here. And then, uh, that's work in progress. And then my second stage ever. And then my third stage, which is where I built a cube. And like the cube, that's the cube right there. It would like rotate, turn, and all that. And then the fourth one, like, this one's just bad. Don't worry about that one. And I built the fifth one, which is the upgraded cube. Wait, this is still stage three. This one, this one's stage five. This one's pretty cool. We got lights on the ceiling, all that. You can see all the parts I've used. 19,000 blocks, 12 lights, nine. This is what I use for fire. So if you guys wanna have like a fire effect, I would use thrusters unless there's a mod I haven't found that just puts fire in the game. I know the new update should have fire. Engines, which I use to control the bearings, and then of course these to do the same thing. I think I've built other stages that just, is there a six? There is a six. This one was more like a outside stage. And then do I have a seven? I don't know. Cause at some point I just stopped naming them. Like seven, eight, nine, ten. I just like stage. I was trying to build, this is stage four. Wow, I remember this. I was trying to build a triangle, but kind of hard to build a triangle in a block game. But yeah, so I built all the stages and this is my newest one. I just finished it like two hours ago. Okay, so let me show you the parts for this stage. Kind of takes a while to load. Okay. So we have, that's more than I thought. This was like, these blocks were the blocks. That, I don't know if I can see, if you can, there you go. You definitely cannot see it, but there was like blocks that were like going over the lights that I used to put some lasers on. That was those blocks. And the block to build like the entire like cube or the building itself and the stage was concrete that I just painted black, 86,000 pieces. I had 187 lasers, which, like, that's a lot, but whenever I actually made that last video, it didn't look like that much. Nine buttons, 273 bearings, which is a thing where, like, if you place a bearing and then something on the bearing, it will basically give you the ability to rotate it any way you want, or just have it keep spinning in a circle. 42 lights, which most of them were just that, and then there, I don't know if you can see them, but there's two lights on the roof up there somewhere. One seat to control, like, all the buttons with, because I recently learned, from my stages, I would, like, just stand and click the buttons using E, but then I found out if you place a seat and connect the buttons to a seat, instead of having to run around and click the buttons, you can just click one, two, three, all the way to zero, so you don't have to keep running around and, like, 
not perfectly timing the buttons. This was also a light. These are these lights right here, and these, and that, and that switch to turn, like to turn the lights into their position. 28 controllers, which is so like a controller. Here, let me show you. So you get it. You place a controller, and you're supposed to. It'll be easier if I build a platform. So whenever you place a bearing, and then like a laser on the bearing, if you want it to like be facing, if you want it to turn 45 degrees to the left, you're gonna want to put a controller down on the same object as it. It can't be like on a different platform right here, because then whenever you try to connect it, it won't connect. But if it's on the same platform or like anywhere on here or here, it should connect. And then you just go on here. Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna switch to... Again, it can go anywhere on the same platform. It can't be over here, because then whenever you try to connect it, it won't work. So this one does. If you don't wanna use a switch, you're gonna use this circle right here and do, and just keep dragging until you get to 45, and then it will turn. And then you're gonna need a switch to turn on the to be able to turn on the laser which the laser only works if it's shooting at a wall or another object so yeah also those are all the connections i've made to use the stage just just a little bit and so yeah if you don't want to if you don't want to use a switch to turn it you would use this circle right here but if you want to make them turn like because now if I make if I turn this circle to 45 you'll see it doesn't turn until I click this and it turns really slow somehow I didn't see this until not too long ago there's a slider right here you can make it turn a lot faster than it normally does it just turns it on but if you don't want to have to connect this switch to that you can just have this circle on right here which I guess I could have used but it's fine. So yeah, that's how the controller works. Let me see, is that everything? Yeah, these lights are already said what they were. And these lights were the strobe lights down all of those white lights right here. Or all these. That's all the pieces I used. I did not make a description. So yeah. That's all the pieces. Now I'm going to show you like how I assembled everything. Yep. So first, what I wanted to do, okay, it's kind of hard to see whenever the only thing you can see are just connections. So yeah, this tool right here, I, I probably should have said this first. The connect tool, you use this if you want to like if you want to have a laser turn on, like, if you want to have a laser, like, actually work, because you realize whenever you place it, it doesn't just automatically work. You're going to need a switch or a button, any one of those. You're going to use the connect tool to hold left mouse or whatever console you play on. I'm playing on PC, so it's left mouse. So you're going to want to hold, drag it. To the other circle and let go and then whenever you click e it will work it'll turn on that's how you connect that's uh that's like the basic way to connect stuff so all my controllers are over here 26 and all all the 187 lasers up here so first what i did like or step two well step one was making the stage and then making this finding the sensor I don't know if I've already gone over that, but what you're going to want to do is you don't want to just like randomly just like drag, select, be like, all right, this, 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 all right, there's my stage. You don't want to do that. You're going to want to count, like you're going to want to go one, two, three, four, all the way until you get to the end of your stage. Divide that number by two and there's the middle of your stage. That will help you 
to like center out to make your lasers look like perfectly even with each other because if you want to have like lasers over here do something and then like mirror it over here that will come in handy if you find the center of your stage also if you don't want to have just a boring yellow laser there's a paint tool where you can just click Q left click any color you want and boom there you go there's your new color laser but yeah Here's the thing I was talking about that I placed my lasers on. So, then once you place like all the lights and stuff, like once you're done making the stage and you make the walls and the, yeah, that was step one. You're gonna wanna place like your lights. There's no screens and scrap mechanics, so I just use lights. I have done one other screen well there's like screen mods but i don't know how to use them because they use like actual coding so i just use lights and i paint whatever i want it to be like shown so if you just want like a green background or something if you just want like a green background whenever you make your stage you're just gonna want to paint all the lights green and whenever you place a light you're gonna want to click e anytime you place the light they always start at five you're gonna want to drag it to ten to get the full brightness out of it so let's just so you place all your lights and you want them to be a different color you just paint them kind of hard to do that we'll just say i painted all of them then you're going to connect you're going to see the yellow is the lights you're going to drag connect it to either a button or a switch to turn it on unless you want to keep it on at all times then you just don't connect it to anything so then boom that turns on the lights because I connected the lights to the button. I didn't fully finish making it green, but you know, it's good. So now, if you want, so the laser is a mod. Like, Scrap Mechanic, the game, does not have lasers in it. I just searched the Steam Workshop for laser mods and there just happened to be one. So, yeah, I bet if you look up laser, you'll see it. You'll find it like it'll be like the first option. So for laser placement, what I did was I made these things where I would place a bearing on the floor. I would go up by two. And if I wanted the laser to face this way to the right, on the left I would go up by three. And then I'll place another bearing right here. And then you can click Q to rotate an item. Boom, there we go. You'll see how the laser just kind of like moves like that, plus that. That can be fixed. All you have to do is connect it to a controller and boom, snaps right in place. Same with the laser. All you have to do, just drag that. Boom, right in place. It will not move. And so you can see how this has a one and that has a two there's one and two so depending how whatever order you connect them that's what number they'll be so if i connect the laser one first and then the bottom one this will be one and that will be two so if i want the laser to be pointing to the ground um for the lasers all the way up there i made them go 45 degrees Oh yeah, I need a button for that one. 45 degrees, like that. And for the ones like closer, like right here, I would do 30. And then for these, I would do like 15. Like that. Also, whatever color the like main building is, I would match the, like the holder for the laser as that same color to make it look nicer. And then you can, of course, change the laser color to whatever you want. We'll do red. You can also change the bearing color. So if you don't like the orange right there, you can be like, all right. Boom, there we go. Oh, yeah, and then you're going to... Oh, wait, oh, it's already attached. That's cool. I'm going to do purple for now. So you're going to need a button to turn on the laser again. Boom. Purple laser. And you're like, oh wait, 
But I want to go into the right. So then, you see that's the second connection. You go here. If you if you don't know to turn it this way, you'll be like, oh, this way. Oh, I keep forgetting. I need a button for this side. If you'd be like, oh, let's turn it this way. we will be like, oh, let's turn it this way. And you'll be like, oh, wait, it's looking the wrong way. So to know which way to, like, turn the circle to, you just face the same way the laser is. And think of the circle on your screen and be like, negative 30 would be this way and positive 30 would be this way. If I want it facing this way, it would be negative 30. So you can just go negative 30 and there. Now it's facing that way. So now you have your laser facing the way you want it to be. If you want your laser to move like side to side like this, that's pretty easy. You just have to, you have, to have a platform. I'm just gonna make an extra platform right here. You put a bearing every other block. So you leave a one gap space. Like that, and then you place a laser on each one. You can click Q to rotate. I don't think I've already said that. I think just making sure. <clears throat> and then of course you can pick what color you want them to be. It would be yellow. So I accidentally colored the four right here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So you can see, like right now, they're kind of hittable. So yeah, to fix that, same thing we've done before. You can turn this fast if you want. Boom, 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 boom. There we go, so I've got one to seven. And now if you want to turn the lasers on again, I'm gonna do this. It's not all the lasers work. Boom, there you go. So you can set a starting spot. Uh, so you could either have them start facing this way, or if you want them to start facing that way, you can also do that. Which to do that, you just move this one. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot that I would only move one of them. Well, in face, I did it the wrong way. I meant positive 30, but it's good. There you go, now they're all facing that way. That's how they're going to start. And then if you get another switch, attach it to this. You want to start there, and we have it go to positive 30 like this. You'll see it doesn't move. So, boom, just like that. Now if I click this, boom. Oh, wait, yeah. oh, wait. So, okay, I see. I see what I did wrong. See, it starts over there, and then it moves right, positive 30, so it just go back. So, I guess I have to put it to 60. Yep. Put it to 60, and it's basically just positive 30. See, I don't really use this tactic, so it's just something I know about. So now, yep, there we go. You can use on, off, on, off on off another easy way to do this if you don't want to do that i guess we're just gonna be facing that way now we can do we can get a driver seat either driver seat or saddle anyone works place it on the same surface connect it I've only used this tactic once, like for that. And you can use you can hold D to make it go that way, and then let go. It'll go straight, and then A. You can just do back and forth from A and D. A D A D. Let go. D. Let go. A. Let go. W and S don't do anything, but A or D and A. Let's both do stuff. So that's the basic movements of the laser. Or this this is the basic movement of the lasers. That was more like that's what I did for these and stuff. So yeah. So I covered this. I covered the lasers. 
Oh yeah, so as you can see, the lasers are all facing the roof. So if I turn on every single laser, like that, that's all the way, that's all 187 lasers. You can see they're not facing in their order, but if I click zero, which is connected, which is this button, oh, okay. This button right here connected to the driver's seat. Kind of hard to see whenever you have all this in front of you. But yeah, I can turn this on, and since this switch is connected, so every single one of these controllers, that will move every single laser at once. So you can see, if I click zero again, all the lasers move into their position. You can even see it how if, the, if I hold the lasers and then I click move into position, you'll see them move. Also, just to let you know, as you can see, this laser is green now because if your laser points at another laser... Like, let's just say I have a green laser up there, which I do, and then a purple laser, which I did. If that green laser points directly at this purple laser, it will turn the laser green. But if those are all yellow, and then it hit that purple laser, then that one would be yellow right now. Which is kind of annoying, but, you know, it's fine. So, yeah. I think that's it with the lasers, so I can just keep clicking, go back to normal, and then go into position to get this cool effect of the lasers moving, which is still everything we've talked about, just like, what this is what you can do with everything we've learned. <clears throat> and there's also, oh yeah, well, there's also this one I have, you can just hold, boom, pretty cool. It's simple, you just connect a switch to all of these. If you're gonna use the switch to turn on these, you're gonna wanna use the second row, like I said. That's it for the lasers. Um, I gotta delete this wall for the next thing I'm gonna talk about. Kinda deleted the floor there, but you know, it's all good. Don't worry about that. So this, part, this one's more simple than the others. If you see, if I click 8 and then 9, you see the lights down there. You see every other one is on. And then whenever I click, so I'm holding 8 right now. So you see every other one on. If I let go and then hold 9 at the same time, the lights will be on the other, every other one. So yeah, that's simple. Whoops, that's simple. All you have to do is for the, you find the eighth button. That's connect like the eighth button connected to the seat, and then you drag it to this light, and then you go back. You, to save time, instead of instead of having to go back and go like this, and then connect it to the light. And then going back and then grabbing this one and then connecting it to the other light right here because you're going to want to go every other one not connect this one to the eighth one instead of having to go back and forth though once you drag once you drag it to the first one you can just drag this to the button too and it does the exact same thing so if you want to have that cool effect that i did you grab the eight and attach it to every other light and then for the ninth button you attach it to the ones that are empty and then of course you attach the lasers to one you attach the lasers to one and then you attach more lasers to the other with the lights I'm trying to think what else <clears throat> uh, for this one you can see the lights kind of right there that effect what I did was if you hold on four, oh, oops, that was three and four. If you hold on four, you'll see these two lights are on. And whenever I let go and hold five, those lights turn on. I connected these light, the lights that are on right now, I connected, I connected those, these two, to the fourth switch right there. And then I connected this one and that one to the fifth switch right there. So then whenever I 
go back and forth from clicking four and five, it does that. And same thing with the lasers. For four, I connected those three, and I connected those three, and for five, I connected those three, and those three. Same for right here, four, those three, those three, five, these three, and those three. That's how you get the effect of the moving lasers, like that. I make it look like they're like going back and forth like that without having to do all this, even though this is easier, but I think it, in my opinion, it still looks better. Just doing, like connecting it like this and then that and this, that. Um, is that it? I talked about bearings. I, I think that's it. That's all I, hmm. I can't be all that like seem I don't know how long this video is but it seemed like it wasn't that long uh I think that's it I mean and then of course I looked at the videos of Thunderdome the, that stage and then I tried to make the exact same replica of it and the exact same visuals hopefully they add a screen mod or hopefully someone makes a screen mod where I can like put anything up uh, that I want like I can have any visuals because then whenever you're like performing and all that you can only have whatever you have painted up there so I was doing the X because that's what it w that's what the visuals were in that video that I have the mini video I have in my other video <laughs> I think that's it talked about building the stage finding the midpoint making everything mirrored to look nice lasers how to move lasers how to use controllers how to use the connect tool how to use the paint tool um the mods i suggest getting to do this of course the laser mods um there's one called the better lift which i think is really cool because for the with the better lift mod you normally can't place your lift on the lift so then you can just kind of keep going up so instead of having to build a huge tower you can just place your lift on itself and keep doing it that's an easy way to get to the roof so if like the roof isn't painted you can just be like oh okay place that right here boom that will fall just an easy way because you normally can't do this in the normal game like if something is attached to your lift, you cannot place another lift right here. But with the mod, with this mod, it allows it to be able to do that. You can also make them go up and then place it again, make it go up. So yeah, I just think laser and better lift makes this a lot easier. I think my first six stages, I did not have lasers. I just had lights that were actually built into the game so yeah mods it was the this is the laser mod right here i didn't use these but i just added these this screen mod does not work unless i just don't know how to use it but i don't think it works so yeah just better lift and the laser and these are the usernames if you want to download them well I think that's it for the video, but yeah, hopefully this tutorial is helpful, and hopefully you guys can make really cool stages, or just make anything else cool that you want. You can also use all this mechanical stuff to build cars, which is what most people do. I think I'm the only one that builds stages in Scrap Mechanic, until maybe one of you guys watching this video want to build one. But yeah, that's it, like and subscribe if this was helpful, and I'll make two more videos next week.